against men. And I mean, she is funding Al Qaeda, now known as ISIS. She ran that operation. We broke that. That's now admitted. Anthony, pop it any time. I'm here ranting. Uh, though I do kind of like you just sitting over there. It's actually a animatronic uh, mannequin. This is not real. It's actually not real. I'm one of those Chuck E. Cheese type robots that can just sit here and kind of listen and nod and agree. And I also do have a purpose. As you said earlier, I do have a purpose. We are going to talk about health news and stuff, too. We are going to do that in the next segment. But right now, another clip. This is a black transgendered Lives Matter group chanting Hillary for prison. So, see, I'm getting on the gender ticket here. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I, uh, let's go ahead and go to that clip. Even the Democrats are chanting it. By the way, I saw a bumper sticker six months ago, Hillary Clinton for prison, and I forgot to tell them to make it. But then I said on air a few weeks ago, I want a Hillary Clinton for prison InfoWars shirts. I mean, I don't care. I just want to produce them. I want to have a limited run of Hillary Clinton for prison T-shirts. I know folks are already selling them. Can we turn that around and get that done in the next week? Okay. Uh, we're going to come back, get into this health news, and then take your calls on the cashless society, Donald Trump, Black Lives Matter, Donald Trump. I just opened the phones up. People can call on whatever they want here in this free-for-all Friday afternoon, and they're just calling in on Donald Trump, Donald Trump, Donald Trump. You know, I love how he didn't apologize to the Univision guy, Ramos, who does all these stunts. Ramos was like, how dare you not let everyone in and pay for everything? And Trump's just like, this is ridiculous. You're not going to pay for everything. I mean, it's so, the entitlement is so ridiculous, Anthony. Anthony, can I move into your house and just have you pay for everything for me? I think that's a great idea. And then you notice on CNN, they were like, how dare Donald Trump do that? Does he understand who he's dealing with? What is wrong with him? This is the appointed leader of Earth. <laughs> yes, this is. You know, I'd start black. liking that anchor if he told people, don't take Gardasil. He acts like he's this Hispanic champion and Robert Rodriguez says, no, they just want the Hispanic market. And they sit there and parasite and suck off of you all day long. They make me sick. I want the human market to go to Alpha Centauri's. Is that clear, Hillary? What does she say to that? <laughs> I should not have been given this. <laughs> this is bad. Take it out of the studio. Take it away. It made me start acting silly. It's Tim Fruget's fault. Oh, he comes up and gives it to me. It was a gift by a listener. And now look what you've done. I'm giving. The truth is... I worship Hillary Clinton. I love her. And Rachel Maddow. I admit it, I'm, I'm gay. Crank it up. It's Congress's theme song. Breaking the law, breaking the law. Well, the Texas Attorney General has pled not guilty to fraud for telling two people at dinner they ought to invest in something when he was investing in the company himself. This is what they indict you for if you're a conservative that actually fights Obama. Meanwhile, Hillary just openly takes billions of dollars from foreign countries and dictators to then lift bans on weapons to their corrupt nations. Open and shut criminal activity. And the reason I'm on a Hillary jag here is that she's been caught red-handed committing a bunch of crimes. And she needs to go to prison. She needs to get in trouble. These are the people that are persecuting libertarians and conservatives all over the U.S. The Republicans don't do this type of political prosecution. I've been doing this 20 years. Nixon did a little bit of it, and they put him out of office. And people went to jail, like his vice president. And good, good, send him to jail. I mean, oh, it makes me sick. And, and for funding al-Qaeda... Send him to jail. Send Hillary to jail. And by the way, the Bushes clearly worked with the bin Ladens at the Carlisle Group. They clearly were involved with Saudi Arabia. They were involved in all this. Send them to jail, too. I mean, it's time to empty out the prisons of political prisoners and put these political people in jail. And believe me, the corruption will stop real fast then. I mean, I've had enough of it. Now, I want to go to Cash and Andrew and Jason and Steve and Adam and others that are patiently holding. Anthony Gucciardi is here in studio with us. But when you've got the Black Lives Matter groups saying Hillary for prison, it shows that they're not fully controlled by the Democrats. They, I mean, the Democrats created Occupy Wall Street. But when they couldn't control it anymore and it got out of their hands, they then had the feds, remember, SWAT team it and shut it down? That was Obama. And it's the same thing here. Uh, Black Lives Matter is getting off the plantation, getting off the reservation here, 
in your gut, Anthony Gucciardi, where do you see all this politically going? Because the awakening that's happening is undoubted. You know, I started screwing around, joking around earlier because by the third hour, sometimes on a Friday, just the third hour, I kind of get a little bit goofy because it's depressing covering some of this negative stuff. But it's overall positive because knowing this stuff's going on will bring sunshine to the situation. I, say, I think we're seeing a lot of victories across a number of spectrums in a really tangible way. Now, those Black Lives Matter girls, you said they were also transgender too? I think mm -hmm. that's awesome. That's great. Let them go up against Clinton. That's the best thing because once you go up against them with this fake political correctness system, it's like, well, what, what are they going to say? It then? turns on itself. Exactly. I think it's great. All these uh, black transgender people are awesome if they're going to go against evil things like Hillary Clinton. That's awesome. In the food realm, we are seeing What tangible, if purple penguins do it? That's great. I love them too. We're seeing tangible, real results because- as we're going to talk about, too. Yeah, I wanted them video. to print that off. Did they print off the uh, tweets that Tyson's tweeting back at us? Okay, they're running it in right now. Thank you. Yeah, I would like to see those. Let's talk about that first. Get into your McDonald's story and then into all the other news. Go ahead. Sure. So I saw this yesterday, and the headline on InfoWars is video McDonald's chicken supplier caught stabbing chickens with spikes. Graphic farm abuse uncovered. And when I saw this, it was really, really weird. And I couldn't believe it at first because I read an, a different article title that was about how they broke their necks by stomping on their heads and stabbed them with spikes. I'm thinking, why would they even do this? Here's Fox Business. Graphic video shows McDonald's, Tyson suppliers stabbing chickens. McDonald's and Tyson Foods are under fire after an undercover video shows factory farmers at one of their suppliers beating chickens with spikes and stepping on their heads to break their necks. It's from an animal rights group. So I looked into this, and it's, it's real, it appears. Uh, based on the video, and Tyson Foods and McDonald's dropped the supplier right after it happened. Now, for those of you who are not aware, McDonald's is losing. I don't so want to see money. this. Yeah, Turn it's, it off. It's disturbing. We shouldn't look at it. But McDonald's is losing so much money, they stopped reporting how much they're losing every month. That's how bad they are in. And already we have Business Insider and others saying things like, is McDonald's doomed? And McDonald's is losing American customers because people just aren't eating their crap anymore. And I remember. I think it was a year That ago. shows voting with our dollars. This is something liberals have done that's good. Yeah. The foodies demanding high-quality food, demanding tasty food, all the industrial crap stuff is totally going out of style, and I have to hand it to the actual liberal trendies. They have actually done a really good job culturally. They're one of the main groups that have actually brought us higher-quality food, anti-GMO, stuff like that, and so I can hand it to them on that front. I think it's a humanity issue. None of us want to eat junk in our food, want to eat Roundup in our food, glyphosate-based junk. But here's Tyson Foods' response to you. By the way, who launched the, the Clintons? Tyson. Mm -hmm. Just wanted to add that. Sorry, go ahead. Well, here's their loving response to you. It says, at Real Alex Jones, we do not tolerate animal treatment shown in the video. We're terminating our contract with this farm. So they've been directly responding to you. Well, I want to say good job, Tyson Foods. We just simply showed it because... There are more humane ways to kill the chickens that are more industrial. and Yeah, I mean, not to mention you don't want to eat chicken that's sitting in its own feces and given antibiotics in the hopes that it'll survive one day longer so it can be killed. And it was InfoWars and the Food Babe launching the initiative to get them to start phasing out antibiotics chicken that they announced within two years it'll be totally phased out. That's good. Then people might actually eat your food. If McDonald's didn't make me feel bad and feel sick when I ate it, I would go there. Because sometimes I'm in the middle of nowhere. That's all there is is a McDonald's. At an airport, I just just go without. All they had to do in five to, t five to ten years ago, all they had to do was phase out their toxic compounds and put in real food. And they would be big today. People would still go there. If they had organic options and it wasn't total, total junk, people would still go there. But now instead, we have things like uh, Indian soybean imports to U.S. jump as shoppers seek organic food. We won't buy GMO junk here. So India and Romania have to put, we have to import our organic produce from India and Romania. Here's one. Suddenly we like organic corn so much we have to go to Romania to get it. So we're importing organic food because we can't even keep up with the demand in the United States. And meanwhile, they're like, we need to have more GMO farms pop up to feed everybody. We can't even. We can't. And the farmers are so controlled by Monsanto and Archer Daniels Midland. They're in their own bubble, a lot of them, not even knowing that there's this huge market and demand for non GMO. And then you think about it this way, too. As I said, we're importing organic soybeans from India. India is where a farmer suicide happens on average every 30 minutes. A lot of it's tied into Monsanto having contracts with them and then 
the farmers killing themselves because they go into financial ruin, according to a lot of sources. And so, they kill themselves by drinking the pesticide. Yes, exactly, in a very darkly poetic way. And then we have a Oregon County has completely banned GMOs, the growing of GMO crops. And they've said if Monsanto and others don't get their crops out of there, they're going to destroy them. So, I mean, people are taking action. Things are really happening in a tangible, concrete way that is victory. And it reminds me also, I mean, how many, what, three years ago, we talked about how McDonald's is on the way out, junk food is on the way out, people are eating real organic super. Let's find the videos food. where we were right again. And we're not bragging. We're just letting you know we really know what we're talking about. Yeah. I mean, we do research. We, when we, you know, have meetings here at the office or we go out to dinner with the crew, we're talking about these issues. We're we're passionate. You go hang around with the anchors from ABC, NBC, CBS. I've done it. I mean, nightly news anchors. They're all about. Oh, we know a lot of this stuff's true, Alex. Big deal. It's all just life. And they're talking about women. I mean, they're just mercenaries, folks. We're not mercenaries. We a hundred percent believe this. Yeah. We foam at the mouth for freedom. Well, that's why these products at InfoWarsLife.com are created. Yeah, let's do a plug because I was already about to do this during the break. I already put my well, super male vitality I mean, in there. This falls in line with all of this. Mm. It's all about super high quality organic products that matter instead of producing. Tell them about this article because I'm about to put uh, some of the secret 12 methylcobalamin vitamin B12 from InfoWarsLife.com in this water. And then again, you're supposed to take it sublingually to get the full effect. I just drink it like it's sodi pop or Coke. <laughs> uh, and then I mix in the X2 nascent iodine all of it in there together into a cocktail i know some folks are actually putting this into their mixed drinks but i don't really yeah, do put it in my days. protein shake every morning i have every single product into the protein. and then there you go ladies and gentlemen i tell you it is dynamite to mix these three things together and then you just drink it down and i tell you the energy i get i used to have coffee about this time of day now i just have this and i tell you it gives me more energy clean energy super male x2 and the vitamin B12, methicobalamin, than the Coke would. Or having something like a tea or a coffee. Yeah, I've probably had two cups of coffee in the last six to eight months. I used to either have a Coca-Cola, even though I know it's fattening and bad, or I would have a coffee or I'd have a tea. Yeah. Very rarely do I do that anymore. Well, it's, it's the methylcobalamin and the adenosylcobalamin. The methylcobalamin is the pharmaceutical grade, medical grade stuff that people actually inject in their bodies. Obviously, you don't inject this. But then the adenosylcobalamin is super bioavailable. So we pick the two most bioavailable sources because you go to like a pharmacy, you can get methylcobalamin sometimes. It's super expensive, sometimes like 100 bucks. But the adenosylcobalamin, I, I can't find that anywhere else. So this is the two most bioactive, bioavailable forms. We went to the chemist and said, what is the most organic? What is the most organically produced? And what fuses it together and allows your body to uptake it? And so it's 80% methylcobalamin and explain the other that's 20%. Adenosylcobalamin. So they're both bioactive forms. And I went online today, by the way, looking at other stuff, and I couldn't just help but have B12 pop up on Google News over and over again. So I'm going to go through a couple of them. Dr. Oz did a whole segment on end your energy crisis with vitamin B12. He has this like five-page long report about B12 deficiency, lack of energy, mood changes, difficulty concentrating, tingling, numbness, inflammation, cracked tongue, and how he thinks B12 is one of the best ways to fix all that. Five ways B12 helps joint pain and arthritis sufferers. This is from Newsmax, and it goes into arthritis, everything like that. We're not making claims here, but this is some of the news going on. And then I wanted to read two reviews that really stood out on B12 because we try to highlight a lot of this the is reviews. for secret 12, our, our variety of B12 that we believe is the best available. Yes, this is the methylcobalamin meets the adenosylcobalamin at InfoWarsLife.com. And this is from Citizen 1984. And it says, as a postman, I regularly walk 10 miles a day. Before using Secret 12, I would rely heavily on energy shots to get me through my week. Secret 12 has changed all that for me. It provided sustained energy throughout the entire day without any jitters. I will definitely be purchasing more and recommending it to my family, friends, and coworkers. And you just take one dropper under the tongue or drink it in water like I do, then it isn't as effective, but that's just how I do it because uh, I like the flavor. I like to enjoy it. And my kids take it and think it's sugar. There's no sugar in it. Real vitamin B12 tastes sweet, yeah, but, tastes but unlike good. anything sweet we've ever tasted. And again, I went to a medical doctor a year ago to have my blood tested, and everything checked. I had low blood pressure. Overall, I had a little bit high blood sugar. It wasn't pre-diabetic. It was pre-pre, mm -hmm. like getting into that range. Now it's gone back down. And I got the injections of methylcobalamin right as we were developing this and getting ready. 
and it's just amazing the energy that gives you. This gives me the same effect as injectable vitamin B12 to where I haven't even renewed my prescription because I don't like needles. Yeah. You know, they're tiny. I just drink it now, and it works just as good. I mean, it's amazing. Yeah, the injectables are great. I've tried that before. The doctor always, I mean, he's just insane.